Hi, this is my Kirby Centria, and today I'll be showing you how it works with the dirt meter on there. And I'll even show you the use of it with the carpet fluffer using the dirt meter. And if you've never seen a demo kit, this is what a demo kit looks like. It comes with a dirt meter, this little box here. The box, by the way, has Kirby on it. I just painted mine black so it would show up better for the video. It has this here's proof book. It says here's proof right here on the side of it. Uh, in here it has pictures of the Centria and how to use it. Like it has this uh, poster in here and I'll give you a better look at it. It's got the easy and all of them on here. It has almost all of them on here. It does not have the Classic Omega or the Heritage 2 on here, but it's still a good poster. I wanted y'all to get a pretty good look on that. And everything's backwards on here, so it might be a little off. I just thought I'd share that with you. And, this is everything that, can, that comes with Centria. There you go. And it just shows all the different parts of the Centria and everything. And we'll also be doing a suction test today. This is the Baird meter. And it fits right on the end of the Kirby, as you can see. And this is the hose test, where you uh, put your hose in there. And also, you can test other uh, canister vacuums hose test, because it has the suction on there. And uh, I'll probably put this in, a, in my next video, if I can't get it in uh, this one. But I will definitely make a video of it soon. I'll probably do it tonight, actually. The bad thing is that the Kirby's I have down here, I have a metal fan in there, and I can't do a metal fan versus a plastic fan. But I, I did promise I would make this video from, from my good friend Mike. And this one does have the metal fan in there, and it does have the Delta switch on there. So we'll do a quick video of this. Out here. This is in the full speed. And uh, here we go. been vacuuming very much late. <laughs> oh man, that's very surprising. I'm a little disgusted with that actually. So that the dirt meter And this is what a dirt meter looks like, everybody. For those of you that have not seen it. It uh it does have the Kirby emblem on there and this is a piece of glass. And you open it just by popping this open. And this falls down. And you can put a black or white pad in here. This is a black one. This is this is what you use for the mattress test. 
Ugh. I pulled seven of these black pads out of my mother and dad's mattress. And uh, they were white. Like, this part was white. It was very disgusting. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. <clears throat> Bag. And the carpet fluffer, also known as the polisher nozzle. We're going to take that for a I love my Centria. I, I recommend that everyone that doesn't have Centria get one before the new one comes out because I've heard that the new one's going to have onboard attachments and it could possibly have more plastic parts on it. So I really don't know how it's going to work out. But uh, I'd go ahead and get a, a new Centria so that she'd be the original owner. I'm hoping to get one soon. A newer Centria, but if I don't, then I'll go ahead and get the one with onboard attachments. I'm definitely getting the one with onboard attachments because uh, I just want to see what it's like. And I'll make a video of it if I get it and show y'all uh, the difference. And I'll, I'll make a very detailed video of it, by the way, too. And this is a 2007 uh, polish nozzle, by the way. This is an 06 Centria. And for those of you that want to know the serial number, well, this is... Well, sorry, I don't know why I brought that up, but the serial number on my uh, for my Centria is on my Diamond Edition now because this is my Diamond Edition uh, motor housing. Anyway, <laughs> we'll go for a quick spin with this. Uh, polish your uh, carpet flipper. <laughs> That is the Kirby Centria set up as a polisher carpet fluffer. Flip out the L-shaped handle here. Rotate it clockwise all the way to the left where the red arrows line up. And I'm on the power knob. I mean the, the polisher nozzle. And I'm going to teach you my little jingle that I learned. Or that I actually made it myself. As you can see. The red arrows are lined up right here. And the little green light is right there. And the belt is picked up, as you can see. Well, unless if you turn the belt lifter to where the green arrows are lined up, the green light will not come on. So that has to be green, green, green. Green, green, green. That's the jingle. The tri green. So green, green equals green. For all those that might be confused about using a curvy and getting the belt right, I know that a lot of you probably won't. But if, but if there are some out there that are confused, then maybe that will help you. But uh. That was the video request by Mike, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this, Mike. 
And coming soon, probably tomorrow, because it's uh, 11.30 up here in, Lu in Louisiana, where I'm from, uh, I can't do it with the, uh, the suction test, because not only are all my plastic uh, fan vacuums upstairs in the attic above me, uh, but uh, my father's asleep, and I can't get it right now, because it'll wake him up. But I promise I will get it done tomorrow. Okay? Thank y'all for watching. Have a wonderful night, day, life, whatever. <laughs>